Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Batman, the 1960s television show, and more importantly about the villainous, yes, the villainous from this episode, or that is from this two-parter series in which Shelley Winters came in and played Ma Parker. Now there's so much behind the scenes information to tell you about, and it was not as smooth as you thought behind the cameras. When we may see something like a show like this, we may see the final product, we may say, wow, this is really good, or this was really entertaining, but we don't know the work that went into that. And oftentimes it is very tumultuous behind those cameras. And this was one of those cases. I'm gonna get into all the details. I'm gonna bring you the thoughts of all the cast and crew in regards to Shelly Winters and her performance on this episode. But I also wanna know your thoughts. What did you think of this episode? Have you even seen it? The reason why I ask that is because I never found out or I never knew about this episode way into late into the game you know about the joker the riddler penguin but ma parker well we'll talk about her and we'll even look at her response to how she believes she was treated on the show as well now let's get into the episodes and the summary about what happened now this is a two-parter and the first one is called the greatest mother of them all in this one ma parker and her delinquent children are pulling off a crime wave in gotham city now, Batman and Robin, they round up the entire gang one by one, but when the arrests seem all too easy, all too simple, the dynamic duo suspects that something more sinister may be happening. Now, the conclusion of this two-parter, the dynamic duo themselves, realizes that Ma Parker has seized control of the Gotham City Penitentiary, and they must get inside in order to stop her. Now I have to say that I did really enjoy Shelley Winters in her work with Lucille Ball on Here's Lucy. Just a little segue, but I do have to say that she was an amazing actress. She was an Oscar nominated actress as well as a winner, so she was really good at what she did. However, let me tell you about what Miss Winters did when she was on the Batman set. They had very lengthy wardrobe discussions with the producer Howie Horowitz and the wardrobe people had her wardrobe for the show and they discussed it thoroughly and settled upon something that everyone agreed on. Now on the first day of shooting, Miss Winters held the company up for 40 minutes after lunch complaining about her wardrobe. She didn't like what they agreed to. Maybe she saw it in person and just simply didn't like it. Now the following morning, that was the Friday of the 12th, she was 45 minutes late to makeup. You will all know that even a couple minutes late in regards to shooting does cost a lot of money, so that would be a big frustration. Additionally, it was said that she held everyone up 35 minutes more when she complained that her wardrobe, again, was not great and she wanted specific changes. Now, Mr. Horowitz was notified by this and came onto the set with and being notified, he came there and talked with Miss Winters. Now, on the last day of shooting, she slipped in a puddle of water near stage 15 on the back lot and twisted her ankle. Then after she left the producers, she found she had an unpaid bill from the commissary. That is where she had her meals while she was filming. So everyone on set pretty much had a difficult time with her. In addition, the actress that worked with her, Tisha Sterling, she was quoted at the time of filming saying she, that is Shelley Winters, was a, well, she used a colorful word here. She used female dog and was a holy terror to her. But that's not where everything finishes. Now, William Dozer, who was the producer of the show, he had a letter written to him by Shelley Winters after the completion of filming of these episodes. And she said, and I quote, when my wardrobe was being prepared, instead of buying boots, which fitted me, which might have cost $12, I was given some two sizes too big for me, and they rubbed and hurt my ankles. They had added heels, which put on a distorted fit and it made things a lot more difficult. Instead of renting a wig for Max Factor, which could have not cost much money at all, an old one was given to her, which had to be constantly pasted and repaired. This held up the production significantly and she was told that there was no money in the budget, which was why they had to use that old wig, which was extremely uncomfortable to work in. 
Not only that, but Miss Winters added that Dozier returned from Europe three days before she had finished filming and never called her, never came to the set to see how things were. She was treated very strangely by him, she alleges, and his associates, and she was not in the habit of working for the fee that she received on the show. She did it for fun, and she obliged to do it for a friend. Lots of chaos, lots of just discord between Shelly Winters and just everyone on the set guys and gals what do you think was there maybe a little bit of both a little bit of production that was difficult a little bit of Shelly Winters was it all her was it all dozier I would love to know your thoughts down below and all in all what did you think of the episode I do have my thoughts but I'll save that for another episode where we can dissect just the performance itself in the episode and the quality of it we'll see you next time guys and gals thank you so much for supporting me and most importantly be hopeful. Thank you so much to all my supporters on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. Tommy G, Citizen Kane 359, Grace U, Sally N, David D, and Ricky. You can find exclusive content on Patreon at different tiers. Go ahead and check it out and thank you so much.